Hello everyone, I decided just to do a quick 3D printing based video today. <coughs> I've just printed for the first time using ABS plastic. Normally I use PLA, it's just because that's what came with the printer that I've got, which is a Vector 3. Um, it was part of a magazine subscription to build it. It's been fairly reliable, done quite a few prints in it now. But today I decided to use ABS for the first time. Basically I use a print bite, not print bite, build tack surface, which I've not actually done that much with, but I got fed up with putting tape on every single time I wanted to do a print. So I've been using build tack. And this is my first ABS print. So see if it'll focus, there we go. It's just a couple of little bits one of my friend's airsoft rifles. Um, he just asked if I could build them, so I was like, yep, I'll give it a go. Um, I didn't want to do it in PLA because I thought that that might not stand up to the stresses involved in airsoft. I'm not sure I don't do it myself. So yeah, that's it printed. Um, not sure if my layer heights and temperatures were quite right just from a quick look at it all it appears to come out pretty well i'll give them to my friend see if they fit if not then i'll have to tweak some settings on the 3d printer um and see how that goes just gonna pause for a minute while i remove these from their rafts that's one thing i generally tend to do with 3d printing is i always stick it on a raft it's just one of those things that if my bed's not quite 100 percent level it helps i mean i do try to get the bed as level as i can but i'm only human and i don't have the patience to spend ages leveling it up so i'm just going to pause now there we go i've got them removed from the raft and from the build tack surface when you're removing anything from build tack it's important that you don't use any sharp scrapers because you don't want to damage the surface while doing it um look to be okay they are a little bit scuffed but that can easily be sorted um yeah they both look okay they're printed in rigid rigid dot ink uh, 1.75 mil ABS. I printed it at 230 degrees hot end and I did put my bed up to 100 degrees. Um, you can run the heated bed a little cooler with build tack but this being my first time I was like I'll just choose some settings that should hopefully work. Being small prints there's not been any issues with warping on them. Um, yeah just they look to be okay. We'll see when I get fitted. Um, all the filaments that I generally use are by Rigid.ink. I do occasionally use some Fabadashery uh, PLA, just because I bought them, because they did some colours I wanted. Um, I'm not using this 3D printer all the time, but when I do, it makes some good little prints. Not always the most accurate. Some of the sizes are off a little, but that's calibration issues and if I was using it more I'd actually spend the effort to calibrate everything as it is I if it's a larger model I want to do and I'm not sure about sizes I'll do it with low infill and see what happens there <coughs> um, so yeah that is just a quick video of my the final result of my first print using ABS which let's try and focus there we go looks nice and hopefully will fit and do the job perfectly and that's all for now next video not sure when I'll do it or what it'll be on but it'll be there at some point goodbye for now